For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that what is a transparent proxy. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Transparent proxy in the sense it's also in a proxy server where uh, basically whenever you build a proxy server you have to go to the client side and provide the proxy settings like um, you have to give the IP address and port number of the proxy server to divert your traffic or uh, the filter your traffic through the proxy server and uh, get the proxy uh, filterings or the cagings or the authentications or the redirection whatever it is so how you configure those rules it uh, act on that but some situations you have a broad range of uh, clients where a number of clients are huge so you cannot go to each and every client and put these settings or uh, some of the users they inter more intelligent or they know already how this proxy works so they are trying to redirect or they, they are trying to not to keep these proxy settings and they wanted to directly browse the settings all this stuff in this case these transparent proxies are going to be helpful uh, the proxies are is going to be a direct uh, things so where the transparent proxies are the intermediary systems that sit between a user and the content provider so you don't need to put any uh, settings on the client side are the in you don't need to put any IP address or the port number of the proxy server so they directly come through this proxy and go to the uh, uh, traffic of the AD or the 443 whatever the you ports are defined on the server so the traffic will go through that uh, ports and to the web server request and this transparent proxies can also have the caging and the reduction the authentications all this uh, modification of the request from the users to the web server but the web server knows that where the uh, traffic is coming from where uh, it is coming from the user or uh, this is coming from the um, proxies when user makes a request to the web server the transparent proxy interacts the request to perform various actions including Caching, redirections, and authentications. So, like whenever you don't need to do any settings on the user side, just um, put a transparent proxy on the gateway side. Then, whenever any request goes in and out of the um, your organizations or maybe your user systems, so that the traffic will be automatically come back to the transparent proxy and uh, it uh, go to the web servers or the content providers so where actually these uh, proxies are used so the use of transparent proxy is uh, proxy for caching so whenever uh, the you wanted to speed up your internet bandwidth or you wanted to keep some examples in uh, one of the user is already um, went to the google site like example google.com then another user already if they type google.com it direct not go to the google server and uh, get the request so proxy caching what it will do it will cache frequently accessed data or the frequently accessed pages on the caching itself so it directly provide you the uh, the page from the proxy itself so the redirection will happen and the direction will happen very fast or the, the pages will load very fast or your internet bandwidth will be saving so that's where you can use the proxy this transparent proxy caching servers are the filtering web traffic so how you can do that is that uh, you can also filter the proxy itself filter your data like unwanted user uh, unwanted uh, url list all this you can filter it and uh, clean you uh, keep clean your organization to not to access unwanted user uh, urls so where you can also use like gateways example say that if you go to the public wi-fi 
uh, accessing where you went to the hotels or you went to the some cafe tea, cafes like um, coffee shops something like that where you you will find a free wi-fi like you just connect to the that wi-fi and it will ask you for the username and password and register with your mobile number and provide you the access in, okay so the similar way you can also use this transparent practice as a gateway is where it will get you uh, take your details before connecting to the wi-fi and it will redirect to the actual uh, web server content their content wherever the content providers are there so it will redirect to that so this is where you can use the transparent proxies so in next session we are going to see that how you can set up this transparent proxy server using the centos 7 operating system so that uh, you know you need to set up a um, proxy settings on the client side and uh, filter your data right you just go ahead and install this transparent proxy settings over on the your organization or the your uh, gateway itself then automatically users will come back to your transparent proxy and every request goes through your transparent proxy that's it that's it about it the transparent proxy thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask